let me say this. First off, the first week, we stayed at the Marriott on the campus. Well, it had no refrigerator, no microwave, um, and no breakfast in the morning, which the Wingate did. And the Wingate was much better, and it wasn't very far from the Mayo. And when we were going there all day long, from anywhere from 6.30 till 5.30 in the afternoon, it was a long day, and it was sure relaxing to come back to the Wingate and have all the amenities, which was the refrigerator, the microwave, and uh, it had the pool and the sauna, which I don't think we had at the Marriott, but it was much, much nicer. I would recommend it to anybody. They have gravy, biscuits, had sausage, bacon, they have waffles, and uh, they have uh, also muffins, and they have a lot of other things. Coffee, good coffee, and, and their service is very excellent. Awesome. And, and this, it's free breakfast. That's what I was just going to say. This is all included in with the price, correct? Yeah. And Marriott, or over where we stayed at, on the campus, they wanted to charge $11 for a buffet breakfast a person. And they didn't have all the stuff they had there at the gate. So this was nice to not have to worry about getting up in the morning going to find a breakfast when you could just have breakfast that's, right that's there. That's true. It's only about uh, five to ten minutes. And it's, so it's an easy drive if you want to. Did they provide shuttle for the yes, patients? Yes, they provide shuttle if you want that, or you can drive your own car. Oh, okay. It is number one in my book. And please don't, well, for the price range, it's even more economical than the Marriott on the campus. We, I paid 500 and I think it's $39 on the campus the first three days I was there. And that's just outrageous whenever you don't have that kind of money. And we really appreciated the free nights that we got and even the ones we stayed over that, we only paid like $105 with tax. I would recommend it to anybody. I would too. Thank you.